<laughs> I want to talk about something that someone just shared with me that I just heard. Uh, yeah, you know that young Donald account that was on Beagle last night, you know, trying to expose me? Why are you on a platform of someone you believe is a child abuser? That's just what I want to know. And why this account is defending and saying like, oh, young Donald wasn't, young Donald wasn't, um literally uh defending him and was calling out first of all young donald didn't say anything except about me why you want to lie and first of all young donald their name is not really young donald i know why they have their name like that but let's just be totally honest you guys are you like i said you guys use people's platforms for views if you believe people are something why are you on their platform weird like, I will never understand using someone's platform and then literally turning around after you've used their platform and calling them something they're not. You were on their platform. Now people are going to look at you like, you was defending this person? Because obviously, you're defending them if you're in their platform by your logic, right? Because you was up there, you was defending them. I don't, and this is another thing that I tell people. The reason why they're canceling me is because I associate myself with someone they believe harmed their child. I'm not going to call someone something they're not. Sorry, cancel me for that. But I'm not going to. You're not going to catch me de be disrespectful to someone that wasn't disrespectful to me. I don't know what it is about this people trying to hold this energy of like, well, you need to hold da 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 accountable because I'm not going to do it. Stop. It never happens. And that's the thing that I find funny is why people are more focused on me literally protecting they literally say oh you're protecting someone who abused their child rather than the situation of me being a pedophile like if you guys really truly believe that then why do you hold the live stream and then talk about the people i've supported like it like if i'm if i'm supposed to keep things on topic and it's not supposed to be about someone else why do they have a live stream in the background and literally tell people that i'm literally supporting a child abuser that is crazy. Wait, like, I'm not going to call someone something they're not because you want me to. If you were so concerned, then you wouldn't be saying that, would you? Like, these people just literally are so focused on the wrong things. They're really so focused because, like, it, it it's weird. It's weird. So I saw a post that Mick Foley posted talking about like a Prime logo in the middle of the ring. If they do that, that's going to be the stupidest thing they ever did. That logo is... No, don't do that. Like in the middle of a WWE ring, you're going to have a Prime logo? Come on now. Jake Paul, or, or I mean Logan Paul is a good wrestler, but to have a Prime logo in the middle of the ring is the most dumbest thing I've ever heard. I agree with Mick Foley on that one. Like, don't. It's trash. We get it. He has his his energy drinks and he's promoting and whatnot. But yeah, keep like no. Nobody wants to see a big ugly logo in the middle of the ring during wrestling matches. <laughs> I mean, if they really do it, I feel like people will start hating Logan Paul. To be honest with you, they probably already hate him. <laughs> Because I don't know what his character is, if his character is likable or not anymore. Because I don't really watch the, like, new wrestling, you know. And the, the Rock coming back to wrestling is just... <laughs> the Rock is, isn't doing so good. I'm sorry. I, I just don't... When, when Cody Rhodes slapped him, I was like, he got, he got him back. I was like... But everyone hates The Rock now, and... Yeah... Oh, his comeback wasn't as great as I think people were like so excited for his comeback and then it was just like disappointment <laughs> like The Rock's comeback is so disappointing very disappointing
sorry, there's a water bottle crinkling, someone smashing a water bottle, but anyways, you know. Joe Biden signing this bill for TikTok is a lie. Joe Biden never even posted on his page that he will sign a bill uh, banning TikTok. You guys don't understand. Voting is coming up, right? They want Joe to look bad as possible so voters don't vote for Joe Biden. Mind you, I'm not voting for Joe Biden or Trump. If I'm voting, I'm voting three a third party. But Joe Biden made an account on TikTok. So if Joe Biden made an account on TikTok, then why why are people believing that Joe Biden's going to ban TikTok after it was announced Joe Biden made an account on TikTok? Now, mind you, TikTok is not allowed on government phones, right? But I believe there is someone that is like able to run the TikTok account because I know someone's going to say that, but Joe Biden has an account on TikTok, so why would he ban TikTok? That doesn't make sense. Do you guys think that makes absolute sense? Let's get into the TikTok bill. Because first of all, the reason why TikTok is being banned is they're claiming that they're selling our information to China. They literally have provided no proof whatsoever that ByteDance is sharing our information to China. They can't just ban TikTok just to ban TikTok. If, if that's what the, the, law, the bill is based off of, right? They have to show some sort of proof that TikTok has shared our data to China. They have not provided any of that proof. Yes, of course, a bill passed, but you have to understand how bills pass through legislation and Congress. Like, there's a very good song for that, which is um, Schoolhouse Rock. I'm just a bill. Yeah, I'm only a bill. And I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. Like, you guys do have to understand that although a bill gets passed, it has to go through several houses before it's passed, right? They can pass the bill, but once it gets to its final destination and it's actually passed, which, which it could take a while because if the bill does not pass, they can resend it through again and have it pass. But you guys don't understand that they've never provided any proof that TikTok shared our data with China. So it's not going, it's not going to go anywhere. That bill is, is, it's just getting passed just to get passed. If they're making a claim that TikTok shared our data with China, TikTok has already proved and provided that they've never shared our data to China. There isn't any proof. You guys just get all in a huff and a panic. Just because TikTok says call your Congress and tell them not to like um, ban TikTok you do have to understand that that doesn't mean that to get in a frenzy because, oh, now TikTok's really telling us to reach out. No, you do have to understand that they're going to keep trying. It's not going to work. And trust me, the government is not going to stop at TikTok. They've had bills. If you for, you guys seem to forget this, they had bills that they were going to pass to monitor the whole Internet. And it was going to be like, you know how when your parents put like a child when they like child proof the internet so you can't go to websites, you can't look at certain stuff. It's only like to like protect the kids. Yeah, that's the type of internet that they wanted. They were going to monitor everything you do on the internet. This was an actual bill and all of this stuff. Trust me, if they do TikTok, they're not going to stop at TikTok. They literally were trying to take down the whole internet, the whole social media, whole internet. And this was and this was a, a very horrible bill, if you guys remember. I remember it was all over YouTube they were talking about it. You guys do have to understand that the government wants to control everything you do. They want to control everything you do. And I'm talking everything. The government wants to take over your whole entire life. They want you to be dependent on the government, right? Because let's be honest, the government passes these laws that don't protect people. They're so concerned with people's data being shared to China, but yet they stopped women from having abortions, which could be very dangerous because some women could die if they don't have abortions. They literally went after interracial marriages and tried to pass a law for interracial marriages. They passed about 100 plus laws against trans people in the LGBTQIA plus community. They don't care about people's safety. They never passed bills for gun control, which is the leading cause of unalivings for children and people. Because how many 
mass shootings have we had so far? Lots of them. They contaminate your water and they have chemicals spill into your water, which is really funny how they act like they don't know how those chemicals got spilled in the water. Let's just be totally honest. Uh, what else do they do? They don't, they've never, they never pass bills for black people, right? They don't pass any bills that they need to, to help protect black people against hate crimes and stuff like that. Considering the fact that we are getting unalive from police brutality. There was just a 15 year old boy with autism that they didn't, that they just unalived him, right? Let's be totally honest. Like, the government does not care about our safety. The IVF, you know, what women use and really need to have a baby because they struggle to have a baby on their own, right? And they use this, 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 um, scientific that helps them have a baby. They deem that as being a person. They literally deem a thing that is not living, that is not a baby. They literally deem that as um, as a baby and, and say, like, that's why in Alabama, I believe it was, IVF was halted and they passed this law saying that that's a baby. That's not even a baby. That's not even a person. You mean to tell me an organism or I don't know, like an egg is a per is a baby? And it's not even a baby yet. Like, you can't feed it. You can't hold it. You can't cl put clothes on it. You can't bathe it. Like, come on. The more and more Republicans pass laws, they make themselves sound more and more stupid. And trust me, I don't agree with some of the stuff the Democrats do either. I'm not for Joe Biden either. He supports the genocide and is racist and a lot of other stuff. How are people so ignorant in that post about Michael B. Jordan? Like, white people are showing their ignorance. That man looks nothing like Nick Cannon. The fact that people are like, ain't this the man with 19 kids? That's Nick Cannon. Look at Michael B. Jordan. He looks nothing like Nick Cannon. Why do white people always think black people look alike? It's so insufferable. Like, please. Stop. It's so annoying. Like, you're just trying to be seen. These people know that man looks nothing like him, but they choose to be ignorant anyways. They know what they're saying. The post had nothing to do with about, about, sorry, the post had nothing to do with a man, about a man with 19 kids. It had nothing to do about that. So why are you even commenting whether or not he has 19 kids? Who cares? It's not your business. I worry. And that young Donald chick that tried to tell me about racism, you have to understand that you were saying that I think, I don't think racism is anything. I literally said I can't be racist to white people because they were literally saying I was racist towards them. Like, I'm tired of people not telling people the whole truth when they don't say shit. I literally said I could be prejudiced towards other people of color. There's that too. Like, you, like, I don't understand why these people think I say, oh, I can't be racist to everyone. Like, literally, you're talking about racism in the sense of people are saying Mexican is a race. Can you not do that? Because a lot of you guys don't even know what race, nationality, and ethnicity is. And you're trying to talk about race before people, like, if you know it. Tell people the truth, right? Literally sitting here saying Mexican is a race. I said I could be prejudiced towards people of color but i said i can't be racist towards white people i hate when people do that so don't ever think for a second you're educating me when you can't educate nobody okay i'm tired of people telling me that what i'm saying is not true when i was never talking about that you have to stop literally black people cannot be racist you are literally what well, we sit in these spaces and then you have other black people saying, well what about what black people did to an Asian person. Stop it. Like, you're the same reason why these people say this this stuff. You have to understand that I do know what I'm talking about. Because a lot of white people have been DMing me. Especially the one that I put in my story. Y'all saw that. Saying that I was racist towards white people. Can you not do that? Because I'm frankly getting 
tired of white people telling me I'm racist towards them because I'm mad that white women come in my comment section saying I'm obsessed over them. I'm not obsessed over white women, okay? It's so annoying. Please stop. Like, literally. And the fact that people, like, Beagle's ruthless and I really don't care. But the fact that people are saying, you're white, you're white, that's not your dad. First of all, that's my real dad. And when he does stuff y'all don't like on Twitter, all of a sudden he's my dad and I need to do something about it. But whenever, but whenever I say that I'm black, oh, he's not your dad. And let me tell you something. I've been saying black since, I, I've been saying I was black since musically. All my, all my supporters or people from Musical.ly know that I was telling people I was black. First of all, in high school, in high school, I literally was in black student union. Like, hello? I even said when I was on Musical.ly, because you guys seem to forget that Musical.ly was a thing before TikTok. And some of y'all just come straight from TikTok. You don't even know anything about Musical.ly. I was in black student union. Come on now. Use your common sense. I truly don't care. And this is the thing. I truly don't care whether or not people think I'm black saying I'm white. It's the same. It's the same thing that proves points time and time again. That a lot of people on the app, right? A lot of people on that side of the app, right? Literally just viewed anti-black. And let me tell you something. They're ruthless. And I really don't care. Because on Beagle, you could say anything. And, and that didn't really affect me because it showed, it showed everyone that a lot of people was anti-black because it's funny to me, right? And I, and I joined Black Student Union. Mind you, I'm black. You know, not any, it's like, I know someone, put, you probably infiltrated. This is not a Rachel Dozell situation. And then she changed her name to a, a more African name. Like, and, and the fact someone was saying I was using AAV, this is my normal voice. What do you want me to talk like? I didn't, I, I didn't grow around a community. I was born with this voice. Thank you. Nobody said anything when, when this person, I don't know if it was on my live or in DMs, when they said I was not black enough because I didn't grow around my black family. That makes absolutely no sense. People will acknowledge the fact that they say, yeah, she's black, but then they will turn around and say, but you're not black enough because you didn't grow up around your black family. Like, I'm not, I'm not concerned with that. Like, move along. You guys literally, the same girl that was up there was like, she's always in these black spaces being colorist. Do you know how many colorist people have been up in that person's space? Do you think they're just going to snip someone off? Let's just be totally honest. You're literally talking as if, if um, mixed people or, or light-skinned people are not colorist. Come on, we're all inherently something. And if you're not, if you're not disabled, you're inherently ableist. Like these people act like they're any better. Let's, let's, let's call it off. You literally want me to agree on something that I'm not going to agree on because you want to put me in this box. A lot of people knows that a lot of the stuff is taken out of context. Whenever I showed screenshots, right? From someone's actual iPhone with the data, all oh, that's edited. She could edit that, but yet I'm not allowed to say that you guys can edit stuff. That is so weird to me how they're always quick to say my shit's edited when it literally came from Space Kitten's actual Insta story. So are you saying Space Kitten edited that? You know why Space Kitten posted that photo? Because all this time they knew I was not a pedophile, but proceeded to spread that information. Trust me. Because I called them an alleged groomer. This person has a history of getting back at people. And, and holding a grudge because of something they said to them. I, st I saw someone talk about they do something like that. When someone hurts them, they continue to go after them. It was a sociopath.